I'm Reverend Koji Jeff Ezaki of Hare Eva Jodo Mission. Thank you for listening to my YouTube sermon. Today, I would like to talk about the importance of making up one's mind. Our life evolves around the continuation of decision making. You woke up this morning and decided what to eat a toast or a bowl of cereal, tea or coffee. You also decided what to wear to the work. After, this, after the job, you'll be able to go home directly or stop at the supermarket to buy some things. Whatever we do, we make a decision. You yourself was the result of a decision. Your life, too, is a result of making decisions. Happiness is the same. If you make up your mind to become happy, you'll be happy right away. However, making up our mind is a very difficult activity which sounds very easy. I heard a story of a mom named Tadao. He worked in an office. His boss was very mean to him. Every morning, Tadao said good morning to his boss, but he was ignored. His boss assigned new jobs to other workers, but not to Tadao. He felt his boss was unfair and abusive. He didn't know why his boss showed such a nasty attitude only to him. One day, Tadao spoke his mind to his church reverend and asked for guidance. The reverend listened to his story and said, Tadao, you must say, I appreciate you all the time to your boss. He was stunned and answered, I cannot. The reverend continued as to why Tadao had to appreciate the person who was mean to him. Tadao strongly replied, Absolutely, I cannot say such empty compliments. The reverend replied, It's okay to give even empty compliments, Tadao. You must deliver thankful words from your mouth. That's the way to become happy. Tadao couldn't understand the reverend's intention. The next morning, Tadao remembered what the reverend said when he found his boss in the office. He, however, was hesitated to show appreciation to his boss. He made up his mind, walked up to his boss, and said loudly, Good morning, boss. I appreciate you all the time. His boss stopped, faced him, and said, Good morning, Tadao, with a broad smile. After lunch, his boss took Tadao to a coffee stand and said, Tadao, I never gave you a new job yet. Do you want to try it? His situation in the office improved from that day forward. Tadao returned to the reverend. Reverend said, Tadao, anxieties and worries never disappear even though we complain, show discontentment, or grumble toward others. If you want to become happy, you must make up your mind strongly. Never say negative words, but say only positive words. We must show appreciation even when we are faced with difficulties. That's the only way to become happy. How many of you here have strong determinations to say only positive words? We cannot become happy by saying negative words. We cannot become happy by abusing others. We cannot become happy by complaining, grumbling, 
and controlling others. We humans don't have determination to become happy. That's the problem. That's the reason we cannot become happy. We cannot become enlightened. You must decide never to bad mouth others, even when things do not happen as you want. If you want to become happy, make up your mind right, away, right now not to say negative words anymore, but only positive words. In other words, the person who grumbles and complains don't have a strong determination to become happy. This not only applies for happiness, but also for business, study, or even daily life. There is a story about Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States. One day, a young man who had a goal of becoming a lawyer sent a letter to Lincoln for guidance. At that time, Lincoln was in Illinois and encouraged this ambitious young man. He answered, If you made up your mind firmly to be a lawyer, you achieved your goal halfway. Decision to achieve the goal is the most important element to achieve the goal. We can learn a lot from successful person because their success was the result of determination. Once we make up our mind, we focus on the goal. Achieving a goal depends on a strong determination to the goal. In any field, the person who wants to be successful must make a strong decision. If you make up your mind to be a rich, you'll be rich. If you make up your mind to be well-educated, you'll be well-educated. The same is true. If you make up your mind to be a good person, definitely you'll become a good person because when you hold a strong decision in your mind, you will act, plan, and think as to be. The most important thing is how strong your decision is. We must make up our mind to use compassionate words for others. Don't speak with complaint, sarcasm, and grumbling because these ruin our lives. If you are strongly determined to use only compassionate words for others, miracles will happen. In order to be happy, we need strong determination. I talked about Tadao's story. Later, he quit that job, started his own business, and met with success. The reason he succeeded with his business was that he strongly made up his mind not to say any negative words but say only positive such as thank you, appreciate, love it, awesome, terrific, and so on. His decision changed his life. His strong de decision led him to succeed straightforward. Our Jodashu founder, Saint Hone, left a great teaching as reciting Namu Amidabutsu. If you are about to bad mouth, complain, or grumble, grumble, negative words will come from your mouth before saying that, swallow those thoughts and say Namu Amidabutsu. It's a very difficult practice, but when you decide never ever to be negative toward others, good luck will follow you. Happiness depends on how strong your decision is to be happy. Let's make a resolution 
to become happy by reciting Amida Buddha's holy name, Namu Amida Buddha. Thank you very much.